Hello guys, I am Sarvesh Patki and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about how to ace the quant section in GRE. I had scored 168 marks out of 170 in the quant section of the GRE with just 1.5 months of preparation. Based upon my experiences, I have compiled some tricks and tips for your preparation so that you can build the quant section of the GRE as well. So let's get started. So first, let's uh, discuss this section pattern. So first of all, you will have either two or three sections in their test. It depends upon whether you get the research or experimental section as verbal or quant. Also, each section has 20 questions and the time per section will be 35 minutes for the quant section. An on-screen calculator will be available which can be operated using the mouse as well as the keyboard. And it is important to remember that you can solve the questions in any order. So you, you should definitely skip the difficult ones and solve the easy questions in the first go. Let's move on. So uh, let's discuss the question types. First of all, you will have the select one option MCQ type of question. In this question, there will be five options out of which one will be correct and you have to correct the select you have to select the correct answer choice next comes the select one or more options in this question type there will be around 3 to 7 options out of which you have to select the all the correct ones note that the question may or may not mention the number of total number of correct answer options so you have to be careful and mark all the correct answers next is the quantitative comparison type in this you will be given four options and you have to compare two quantities, quantity A and B. Option A says that quantity A is greater than B. Option B says that quantity B is greater than A. Option C says that both the quantities are equal. And option D says that the relationship cannot be determined based upon the information given. So this is the standard uh, way in which the statements will appear and you should definitely remember this. Next type and the final one is numeric entry. In this question type, you will have to manually enter the answer using the keyboard and the answer will be in the form of an integer or a decimal or a fraction. Note that for a fraction, you will have separate boxes to enter the numerator and the denominator. So now we've discussed the question types. Let's move on to how you should plan your preparation. It will take around 28 days or maybe a month to cover the syllabus and practice all the questions so that you are ready to take the exam. So basically, the quant section can be divided into four subsections. First one is arithmetic. For this, you will require around nine days of preparation. Next comes the algebra section, which requires four and a half days. Next is the geometry section, which will take around five days. And the final one is data analysis, which will take around five and a half days. And finally, after covering all the sections, you should devote around four days for mixed practice, where you should solve the questions from different uh, topics such as arithmetic, algebra, geometry, to simulate the kind of questions you will get on the actual exam day. Note that one day is around two to three hours of preparation. So for 28 days, you will have to devote around 56 hours. So let's move on and see each section in detail. Arithmetic is a very important and fundamental part of any uh, of the quant section for any competitive exam. So I've divided it into two parts, which is arithmetic one and arithmetic two. So the arithmetic section comprises number systems, percentage, profit loss, interest, and ratio and proportion. These topics are very basic, and these concepts will be used in other sections of the quant uh, quant subject as well. So. You should cover the number line, the properties, the fractions, decimals, third indices, factorization, and all these concepts when you start preparation, start your preparation. Next comes the percentage profit and loss topic, which will take around one and a half days, and the ratio and proportion, which will take again one and a half days. An important topic in the ratio and proportion chapter is mixtures and allegations. This is a special case of the ratio and proportion chapter, and you can definitely expect a lot of questions from this topic. So you should devote significant time to this and not skip this topic at all. Moving on, we have the algebra section. In this, linear and quadratic equations is a basic chapter and you should definitely devote time to solving word problems. Next is 
inequalities and functions and graphs these topics might seem difficult for students who do not have a science background but believe me they are very easy to understand next is the coordinate geometry which just involves remembering a couple of formulae so that you can crack all the questions after covering the algebra section you should again move back to the arithmetic section in this arithmetic 2 we will be covering the difficult topics from the arithmetic section which we had left earlier so this involves time and work which is a very important topic and also speed distance and time in time and work pipes is a very important concept where you will have you will definitely get a lot of questions again in speed distance and time races linear or circular is a very important topic to study moving on we have the geometry section this is one of the easiest sections of the exam and believe me if you know the formulae by heart you can easily crack this section so lines and triangles circles quadrilateral and polygon these are the basic chapters in 2d geometry if you know all the properties you can crack any question but if you don't know a property you will find it difficult to crack even the easy questions as well so make sure that you know all the properties by heart and you can also derive the formulas in case you forget them next comes the mensuration chapter which is basically 3d geometry in this you will study various solids and you will have to remember the formulas for surface area and volume moving on we have the data analysis section this is a fairly easy section just like the geometry and the topics include sequence and series which is one of the easiest topics you will just have to study ap gp arithmetic progression and geometric pro progression then next comes the statistics where you will study mean median mode next comes an important topic which is uh, considered as difficult by some students that is permutations and combinations believe me this topic is very easy and with a bit of intuition and practice you can definitely uh, become a master at it also the concepts of p and c are used in the probability chapter so you should definitely study p and c before moving on to probability last one is data interpretation this is the easiest chapter because over here you just have to observe the graphs given and solve a few basic questions which involve just addition and subtraction and division multiplication the mistake which you might make in the data interpretation chapter is that you will not read the graphs correctly or you will be in a hurry and make silly calculation mistakes so you have to be aware of these things and make sure that you do not lose marks due to silly mistakes now we have seen each section of the quant and now we'll move on to the study materials now that we know what to study we should look at from where we should study the first and the most important resource is the ets official guide which looks like this this is your this is the holy bible for the gre preparation and you should always refer to it next comes the coaching material in case you have joined a coaching class otherwise you can also prepare from the 5 pound manhattan prep book which looks like this so finally to summarize the things that we have covered in this video basically using this 28 day plan you can easily achieve your target of 170 marks in the gre quant section and one day of preparation is basically just 2 to 3 hours of studies so in 56 hours you can definitely crack the gre with 170 marks in the quant section so to go through again what we have covered get your basics right just go through the theory for each chapter and solve a few questions to get used to the concepts and to consolidate the concepts in your mind next is to do a mixed practice of all the questions after you've covered all the topics next is time practice which is a very important constituent of your preparation in this you should time yourself to solve 20 questions in 35 minutes and try to simulate the actual exam day environment and finally a bonus tip that is to maintain a formula book book right from day one so that as the exam approaches you can keep revisiting this book so that the formulas are right on your fingertips so this was all from my side i hope that this plan helps you to prepare well for the gre thank you very much for watching and please like the video in case you enjoyed watching it and it was helpful 
please subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have any other queries. Thank you and good luck.